Hello everyone, it's Ricardo. How's it going? I hope you're all doing fine this fine Saturday on the run-up to Christmas. So, what are we going to be doing today on today's stream? Well, I'm glad you asked. What we're going to be doing is the Winking Cat Mystery Part 1, apparently. Uh, and there's going to be different things released on the run-up to December. Lots of bit of a treasure hunt going on in game. Um, just connect to the private group session. Had an elite dangerous crash early on. That's why the stream was somewhat delayed. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in our explorer ship and we're going to go on a bit of a mission, right? And this mission, it's going to be quite good. This. Um, let me see if I can get. If I can capture and show you what we're going to do. What we're going to be doing is uh, add a source, add window, word. Right. Now this might be a bit of an eye test because it certainly is for me. Right. Um, these are the messages that we've had in regards to the good old winking cat. Uh, and the winking cat is going to be a thief. And he's been stealing stuff left, right and centre. Um, which has been, you know, great. Great, I tell you, great. Because we're going to get loads of swag. Apparently there's about 30 million credits up for this particular treasure hunt. A ship, some paint jobs and a lovely jumper. So what are we actually looking at? Jumper hut. Hello there. So what we're going to be looking at... Um, is effectively what we can see on the screen. Now, hopefully you can see it. So the first thing that was sent out, right, was, was this section here, right? Now this section here, and what we can do is we will view um, good old print layout and we'll want, we just want the normal, normal read mode here. This might be a bit easier for us to read. So the Pilots Federation alert said, a uh, detective, some guy or other, claimed the winking cat thief has something planned for the weeks ahead. Good stuff, right? It's treasure hunt. After our investigation into the Joker's Deck gambling circle, Wolf and I were hired to track down their stolen ceremonial playing card. The good news is, is that now we have the card, we can hardly claim credit. Anyway, all this, blah, 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 blah. Right? The ancient Joker card arrived via a courier service with no data as to its point of origin but the card has text stamped on the back and it simply reads the hunt is on and it's followed by two sets of numbers. One, two, three, 16th to the 30th. So these are the bits we're in now and we've had three clues and four, five, six, 23rd to the 26th. So we could be playing a little bit of Elite Dangerous over Christmas and the new year, hopefully if it runs. So here's the plan. Um, at the bottom of the drawing, you guessed it, is a smirking, winking cat's face. Great. Okay. It's speculation, of course, but some of these numbers must be dates. Perhaps the hunt is scheduled to happen over the next three weeks. Well, thanks for that. You kind of guessed that. Um, are we being invited to hunt the winking cat, or will something else be the prize? Right. There you go. So that sets the scene. The feline thief has been busy of late. Anything from prized art to prototype robots, entertainment mogul Oscar Goldson recently reported that his private collection of rarities had been hit. And there were rumours that Worldcraft Corporation's vaults, and here's the big thing here, Worldcraft Corporation, was somehow broken into. So I think we should start there, right? So Worldcraft Corporation. So I then went onto the internet and typed in Worldcraft. What was it? Organization. Do, do, do. Let me see. Worldcraft Corporation. Elite. Dangerous. And some clever dicky had said. Previously known as the Cisco Corporation, Worldcraft is based in the Epsilon Irani system. Right? There you go. Um, and we found that on Elite 
dash dangerous fandom and it's part of a mega corporation okay so that's that's the plan there so we're going to head ourselves all the way over there and see what we can find and what we can get as first part of this of this treasure hunt right so that's the plan <laughs> This is looking well. No, I, I, I was. I looked at the things, and I think I, I, I now kind of worked it out. So you, you've done it anyway, Simon. So there you go. Right. So. Okay then. So I got me Asp Explorer, which is great. Uh, I've been. I have been. I'll tell you. I have been. Um, Got some scorpions, which are great. What have you? I think I'm, I'm going to switch one particular scorpion out. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put a, a, a good old standard. Oh, I'll leave it as it is. Right. Okay then. Great. Good stuff. This this is kind of what we're going to be doing. So let's go. Down to our loadouts it's a maverick and my little maverick suit there loadouts come on loadouts loadouts manage loadouts there it is great suit cosmetics got a few cosmetics in here um just wondering if I can how I can put them on. I did go for some Christmas jumpers. Here we go. Look how terrible these are. Utterly horrendous some of these jumpers are. So we're gonna go for a nice festive green Christmas jumper. Or oh, we'll go for the blue. Blue for the boys, right? We're going to go for that one. Right, there you go. Because it is Christmas-like, after all. Right, so we got our Christmas jumper on. That's all good stuff. Look at that. Quality in it. They, they are really good, and they are really detailed. I'm enjoying it. And let's get ourselves off to the um, Epsilon... What do you call it? Um... The Epsilon place. Epsilon Iridini system. Right, that's where we're off. World of Warcraft. So that's the plan. So we've got a couple of systems in there as well. Major's Mine. Um, we've got New California. And we've got Goldstein's Rock. The Rocky Body. Now the plan I have read is the go and start scanning places and you're looking like for a crash ship to to appear and the first one we're going to go to is major's mine so that's where we're off right okay then have we got fuel yes are we all yes brilliant launch for our galaxy map what should be absolutely miles away not too far at all. This could be a really short stream. Um, there you go. It is but 59 light years away. Two jumps. <laughs> I love that jumper. That jumper is great. Okay, here we go. All good stuff. Oh, it goes good, doesn't it? I've had that gold skin for a while, mind. Honest. I haven't just bought that. I looked at the chrome one for the Chieftain, but they're expensive, you know? You know, they are expensive. 
Yeah, for what it is. And I think, well, you know, I, I've spent a lot of arcs lately. What with the, um... What with the bonuses that have been going on in the discounts? Phaser Reddick, how's it going? We are doing the treasure hunt. Yes, wink, wink, wink. Winking cat. So, yeah, what we've worked out is Epsilon, Arid... Well, wherever it is we're going, Eredical. Wherever it is, Oridian going to. We've got our Christmas jumpers on. That's the plan. So this is part one. Epsilon Eridini. That's where we're going. Doing a bit of scanning. Eridani. Yes. Simon's been banging the videos out. I was quite surprised, you know, the amount, you know, the the, the level of performance you were getting on your seven-year-old PC. Now, to turn the other one on, that's got a 1050 in it, and it's an i7, uh, I don't know, i7, I think, third gen, fourth gen, perhaps? And we'll see how, how that's doing. I think it's good, good, compelling service. Right, so we want to turn off fleet carriers because every man in his hound you. Um, loads of stuff. Major's mine is what we want. Lots of stuff going on there. That's the planet. Let's get ourselves over there. You know, some of it could be like processes running in the background that a lot of performance have been having. I have, I've got rid of steam, I've got rid of all this other stuff running in the background. All starts eating up your bandwidth and your system processes. Oh, they've done an awful lot of work. I, I think they got a bit of stick this week, didn't they, right? Um, oh, this is the last update you're going to get now before Christmas, and people are like, mm. you know, and understandably. Right? But these guys have been working tirelessly to fix these problems in the game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, the plan is they're going to release a lot more hot fixes, a lot more tweaks, uh, and these are going to come in the new year. So, here is Major's Mine. It's nice, isn't it? Let's put the anchors on. Now, we're looking down here, see what we've got. Nothing's popped in yet, when perhaps not too. Not close enough. But what we're going to do, we're going to scan it anyway. Go. Surface scanned by fifty per cent. Surface scan complete. Well, what do we got then? We got distress beacons, minor wreckage, minor wreckage, and nothing yet has, has popped in in regards to a crash ship. Let's go a little bit closer. Be 
you. There's a crash ship there, see? 6.75. Yeah, it's not showing up. Yeah, you'd expect it to. So, we are going to get ourselves round there and eyeball it and get ourselves in. That's the plan. So if you all enjoyed the, the fleet carrier interiors, it does look good, doesn't it? Really looks good. So we're making ourselves, getting ourselves over there. There we go. And this system is the home of Worldcraft. Because we Googled that and that's how we know them. Hopefully, that this is the crashed ship we're looking for, which is part one of the Winking Cat. It's an awful lot of staff, isn't it? I mean, think about it. All those staff, what are they eating in those fleet carriers? What are they eating without constant supplies? Shouldn't they have, like, off the black hole? Right, um, hydroponic gardens, staff to eat stuff. Again, compelling stuff. Exactly, yeah, it does. You think, oh, bloody hell. You know, just keeping the staff in mint arrows alone, right, would cost an absolute fortune. Let alone stuff like beer. Yeah, very crowded. With all those NPCs, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what the performance is going to be like. Yeah, everyone's in the bar, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Anyone doing any work? No, we're in the bar. Right, here we are. Uh, we were looking for a crashed ship. Right, where is it? There it is. 27. Fly the rest of the way conventionally. I mean, just look at the scenery. Just look at that. It's, it's brill. This is on high settings as well. So we're going to come over this crest. We're not picking anything up yet on the infrared. Let's slow it down a bit. Lights on. There is a crash ship. All right. Let's get the wheels down. Eighty seven meters up. Landing gear deployed. We should be able to get nice and close here. Which is some good stuff, right? Good stuff. It has. I mean, I mean, just just look. Just look at this. It really is good, isn't it? So for the site, I've got shipping container, woods haulage, stamped on the side there. We've got the beacon to scan. I don't see any entry points for so any on foot. So this is obviously done with horizons in mind as well, right? So it's going to be a, a kind of sort of strictly SRV mission. 
but we can get out and have a nose about. So kind of roll up, scan that, away you go. So, let's do just that. Hopefully I won't knock my beer over. Today's stream is brought to you by Corona Extra, which I was given today. I don't know. I'm trying to save all my limes for Christmas. Right. All right then. All the scorpions. Low gravity warning. Are we doing, Mike? Where do we get the information regarding the hunt? Well, I must admit, I came to the point it was Epsilon. Um, it was the Epsilon system, right? Epsilon Eridani. Uh, but as for the actual location, I did look it up. So, because Epsilon, um, Epsilon, I'm having trouble with this, Eridani is um, the home of Worldcraft. That's how I got to that. Right? Okay, here we go. Get all my lights on. I'll have to reset my... Fire groups as well. So here we are. Here's the crash ship. Don't want to go shooting anything, do we? So let's go into our fire groups. Right. Scanning away. Scan complete. Uplink log data downloaded. Right, what have we got? A gift from Worldcraft Theme Park. Okay, then. Let's take a look. Congratulations. Included in this cache, or are we calling it a cache? I'm going to call it a cache, um, is the following. 10 million credits, a red festive flak launcher module stored at Dark's High. Now, that's in system. And a 5B luxury cabin module also stored at Dark's High. Mike, I'm in the instance. Um, where is he? Where's he gone? There he is. He's not in my instance, so I can't I can't invite him or direct him. So that's what we got in that call. So um Yeah, I'm on my private group. At least I think I am. Am I? I think I am in my private group. Uh, yeah, I'm in my group. At least I think I am, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, good stuff, eh? Um... As soon as you pop in, I'll send you a invitation. Yeah, I'm in a private group session. Right, where is he? He's miles away. There you go. So let's get some dust on this jumper. You know it makes sense. So, you know, there's our old scorpion. Being thwarted by a massive piece of ship here. Yeah. That's the old thing we've just scanned. There's anything else around you. Um, Woods haulage stamped on the side. Kind of wondering if that's got any sort of relevance for anything. You know, 
anything a bit later on in the game. But apparently not. Here we are on top. Vega line shipping. Yeah, it's it kind of is what it is, isn't it? You know, there's nothing else. There's nothing else here. So that was it. Major mine. Scan. Find the crash ship. Head towards it. Ten million credits are yours. Which is not so. Which is not so shabby. So, that's the first one. Done. Nice and easy. Let's get back to the ship. No! Oh. What it is, I've got a new keyboard. Because the other one had seen a bit of action. And it's a smaller keyboard, so I'm, my fingers are getting all jammed up on the keyboard. Which is a shame. Ship recalled. Right, ship recalled. Brilliant. Let's have the ship come down here. Where's it gonna here it comes. It's like just left you, what's going on? So so far so good. No, you can um the Christmas jumper reward. From what I've seen of the rewards from this. Um I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I, I bought the Christmas jumper from the shop. It was a pack of ten. Um, or a pack of five Christmas jumpers. But you can equip it as normal hollow me livery, I think. Right, so here we are. Right. <clears throat> um, board. Okay then. So, what I'll do is, for Mike's benefit, um... Do I want to put a wing marker on or something like that? Incoming message. Incoming message. Uh, my beacon's on on team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. All right. Okay. So what was my message? Oh, great. Brilliant. Okay. So then. That's where we are. Have you got it, Mike? Because I'm on to the next one. So, on the next one... Then... Uh, we should be seeing now... Yes, there you go, there you have it. Um, the next thing we're going to go to... Is, is this. So... from that makes it a bit a bit easier so that was the epsilon one which we found by looking at world of warcraft over here great and we, and we found that particular system okay the next one right is um 
the imperial family of decadent wealth. Now, this came out today, right? So we're looking for an imperial family of decadent wealth. So here, what we've got is, you look at the spelling mistakes. And that's why I kind of put it into word. So you've got timeless, so it should be timeless. So we've got an A with my pen, right? We've also got leader, which is an E, so it's missing an A. So that's an E. So we've got EA. Uh, we've also got X there instead of a song. And then we've got a Z down there instead of an S. So that's kind of how they're doing it. Now, this points to a system. Z-E-A-E-X. Right, so let's just, where is it, right there, right, let's go to here, galaxy map, right, so we want an imperial system that's got a Z and an X in it, so if we go over here, map mode, say we want that and if you even put in power play which is empire civilization done that done that done that power play mode We're looking for something that's got a Z, an E, an A, and an X in it. Right, so I suppose that's one way of looking for it. It's a look at your, your map mode in Imperial Space. Anyway, we're just going to type it in, because Z, E, A, E, X. Z-axe, see, Z, and that also corresponds to, where we going? is it not an imperial space, oh wow, there you are, Z-axe, it's now federation, so why were they going on about this then, imperial family of decadent wealth, Rules trillions of people in public and stealth. Anyway, uh, to ride on the Z, ZX. Ooh, there you are then, I suppose that's how you get to that. Um, bit of a stretch, I know. But hey, that's, that's, that's what we're going to, that's, that's where we're going. That's where we're going with it. Um, just change all that so we've got everything on it. Brill, back, we're off to Z axe. Here we go. But that's how they find. That's how you find out. It, it's spelling mistakes that are in that are in the, the original message, apparently. Landing gear retracted. So here we are. Zooming away from that, which is all the way over there. It's all within a certain area, so it's not going to take long to get there. Which is good. Right. Um... Just jump, get out of here. Ready to engage. And this is part one. So the next part will be uh, the 23rd of December onwards.
No, stop doing that. Well, yeah, I always keep my main commander here, another commander somewhere else. And it's something to do. I mean, the logic of how people get there, I think, is a bit crazy. It's like finding the systems, great. Finding the actual planets? I really just don't know. There's only three sites to visit. So, unless there's another one that's turned up that I haven't seen. Okay, so off to the... ZX place. Now, the place you want to go there is Irvin's Wreck. And there's a crash ship there, apparently. Like I say, we've got the system from spelling mistakes. wreck. Pop on over to there. Does anyone here know how they're finding out the, um, the actual planet? Because I'd love to know. I mean, say, getting the systems is easy. Getting the planet? Don't know about that. Or is it the old-fashioned way of just scanning every planet? Ah, uh, each of the Winking Cat news items. Yeah, it's been quite quite a few, isn't it? Oh, months and months ago. In fact, beginning of the year. But let's face it, I think these things have only actually been put in game from the last update. So here's Irvin's wreck. Is that right, Brutal Enforcer? Cryptic clues on Twitter or Facebook? Again, I haven't really seen much. Right, scan him up. What have we got here so far? We've got nothing. Surface scanned by fifty percent. Surface scan complete. Surface scan complete. An active power source. That's quite I like going to have a look at that as well, mind. A couple of those. But we're looking for a crash ship. And that hasn't popped up yet. So we've got Moffat Town. And Legacy. We had to kind of eyeball it the last time. Active power source. Where did you see it? Active power source, regular markers. Where? Am I meant top right ish? Top right. 
Ponce excavation. Something botanical. Ah, they, good eye. Good eye, Vazorella. Good eye. Let's get down there. So we've selected it. Still hasn't popped in here. I'm not sure is that a bug or what? I don't know. And look where it is. It's very sort of dimpled, isn't it? The ground. We're going in. Some irregular markers as well, not too far away. <laughs> Alexander, you're showing your age now with Annika Rice, and it's funny you should say that. It's not the first time someone has said Annika Rice to me um, this week. So we went out shopping because whether you know or not, right? That this new variant is. Um, ripping through the UK, right, at an alarming rate. It's Omicron. So, so what's happening is, is um, we went to Costco. Everyone loves a bit of Costco. Joe, how's it going? And, it, and we were there, and uh, the Costco in Cardiff is very close to a gym. So you get all the people out in there in their gym gear and that sort of stuff. And there is this woman. And I remember saying to my missus, Oh, it's Annika Rice. You know, in her gym gear. You know what I mean? The sort of the, light, the lycra leggings and all. And she was very sort of focused. And she was running up and down the aisles and putting things in her trolley. And then she was pulling the trolley. It was like an Iron Man contest. And I'm like, God, chill out. Just chill out, like. It was mental. You, you'd think food was going out of fashion. And this is Costco, right? Costco's got loads of food. That's a little crazy. Anyway, Annika Rice. So, I'm in the car park and I'm putting my stuff, you know, bog roll, ski, and God knows how many pools, right, in, in the back of my car. And she had one of these massive, I suppose, utility vehicle pickup truck things. And she had the back off and she was in there and she was shoveling stuff in. And then, a, and then a fella turned up in another Land Rover and threw all the stuff in it. I thought, my God, like, you, you, you're sort of like prepper or something like that. Yeah, Joe, it is. We're just dragging it out for dramatic effect. But like, yeah, Annika Rice. It's, it's strange you should mention it. Annika Rice in Costco. Right, okay then. So, um, got me jump up. Let's deploy Get ourselves over there. Low gravity warning. Same old, same old. Standard stuff. There's the thing to scan. Scanning it up. Oh no, you've got to, you've actually got to do it from the, the driving seat. Or so if you're in the passenger seat, right? 
in the SRV, that doesn't class as double exploring. Well, I mean, you say that. I mean, I, I just, I've just scanned this, haven't I? So what have we got? What have we got this time? What we got? We got a gift from the Duval family. Ah, Imperial. We have got another 10 million credits. And an Imperial courier dogged at, docked at Trivagasan Orbital. So, Imperial courier, very nice. It's free. It's a shame this wasn't linked to Hutton Orbital, right? in some way, and you got that free anaconda, right? But it was pink, and you knew everyone had done it and got a free anaconda because it was pink, and you can't change the paint job. Now, all that, that would be funny. Right, so there you go. We've got it um, from the Duval family. Let's go out, let's go out, get some back. Let's go for a bit of a walk around. So, slightly different sort of like model than what we had here. We've got, of course, we've got our thing that you scan. We've got the beacon. And effectively, what could constitute as parts of the ship. Yeah. Nothing else here for an Odyssey commander. It's done with both games in mind. No dramas. But so far, we're up 20 million. A festive flak launcher and an Imperial... Was it, what was it, a cut, ah, what was it, I forget what it was now, what, what was it? We had an Imperial, Courier. So, nippy little ship. Could be, couldn't it? Right, okay. So, we're done. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, the Scorpion, Batman. Now, somebody said there was a ramp around here as well. I don't know who. But someone mentioned there was a ramp around here. Perhaps we'll go and take a... Oh, special effect gun. Uh, I see. Right, it's... Um, back around. No swag to pick up. You know, I suppose you're getting enough swag like from... S oh, come on. From scanning the beacon, really. Having other stuff you could pick up is a bit ridiculous. Is that the ramp? talking about there. Perhaps we'll try that. Let's have, a, let's have a go at this. You can go up there. It looks like some sort of a ramp. I'll just try and say take off. From that. See, it's handling better than the scarab. We haven't been sort of like turned around just yet, have we? lower torque, I don't know. So here we are. We're right up there. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to be what I was expecting. Could just be nasty. Yeah, we're all over the place. Didn't lose much there, though. Right, let's get back in the truck. Back in the ship, I should say. Get on in. Why you can't buy a scorpion in Horizons? 
because it's an elite dangerous odyssey SRV. Nick. Um, Horizons commanders had the multi limpet controllers put in. Odyssey commanders had both. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. It should be, because it's all flagged to the commander, isn't it? So, not too far away from here, a bit of irregular markers. Um, that's going to be worthwhile. Zipping over the hill and having a go at it. like Mike's in system. We'll pop up, drop down. Go take out some irregular markers. Could be some nice stuff to, to pick up there. So I got my um, third vaccine on Tuesday, I think. Oh, for God. I had that, but then generally I was in a system where a lot of places were quite far away anyway. I suppose that would depend on the system though, wouldn't it? I haven't seen that as an actual bug. How do you feel, Joe? And which one did you have? I mean, I had AstraZeneca the first two times. Nice and nice gradual descent. Yeah. I've not noticed in regards to the missions to be perfectly honest with you. There's an irregular markers here. Let's see what it is. Is it going to be the good one? Or is it going to be the rubbish one? I don't know. It hasn't painted itself up yet. Don't see any structures. That's not saying that there isn't any. So it's going to be the standard. It's the same old stuff. Pick up the barrels. But you have entered a trespass zone. So trespass zone cleared. Warning. You have entered a trespass zone. You have entered a trespass zone. Trespass zone cleared. I will go and take them out with my Christmas no jump. Warning. Cargo scoop deployed. Let's go, 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 go.
Well, it would help to have the guns sorted out, wouldn't it? Right. Now they're meant to be changing this, aren't they? Didn't even shoot him. Found to be some rubbish here. <laughs> Keep my baubles safe, you know it. So we've got an occupied escape pod. We've got some worn shield emitters, which we don't need. Um, anything else around here in regards to that? Let's start picking up some stuff. Oh, there's Mike over there, look. Jadeite. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Thank you very much for that subscription. Of course, if we had the scarab, holding four tons now. Trespass zone cleared. Let's have a look. Transfer. Oh, I'm full. Damn. I am full of stuff. Look. Bloody nerve agents I've got there. Oh, well, never mind. God knows why I'm full. Oh, well, I'm full. I'm full, so I'm full. Mike, you can have the rest. Let's jettison that. Do you need an SRV, Mike? Okay, here we go. Here he comes. And do you know where you're going in regards to the treasure hunt and the 10 million? Here he is, look. If not, I can point you towards the other stuff. There's stuff there to go and pick up. Bring your ship a bit closer. You should be all right. Bouncy, how's it going? Am I leaving the location? I'm off to the next place. Yeah, did you go? Have you got the the second? Have you got the second treasure hunt item yet? There's stuff to pick up over there if you haven't done already. Okay, no worries. Let's go then.
Um, right. The next location. Let's bring up the, bring up my window. So. That was the axe. The next thing comes from this block of text here. The Achilles Corporation. A fanciful place where I've spelt profit wrong with a D is power, no room for grace. Its namesake was felled by a lucky arrow. Lucky spelt with an I, not a Y. So we got D-I. This corporation's fortune grows narrow. Surveillance is the crime for which it must play. Monitoring those who dare get in. It's got the way. So, you know. And then we've got to a merry thief who can take what they choose. And choose is spelt, or shoes, um, S-H-O-O-S-E. So that's an S. So we have D-I-S-O. And that's not a song by whoever it was, Boney M. Um, Diso is where we're off next. And that's all the things we've had so far. So that's what we're going to do. So over to navigation. D-I-S-O. Yeah, and DISO is from the original Elite. You're right. One of the founding systems. As you can see, you got Lave, Listy, DISO, Ridequat, all the old favourites. So we're going right into some old Elite dangerous areas here, to be fair. So we're headed in there. Oh yeah, definitely. And some would say that, you know, it's um It's all about Raxlow and all the rest of it is all about the old systems that were in the original game. My dock is still up. Right, okay. Uh thank you very much. Poof, gone. It is gone. So, Diso. Um and Diso is not so far away. Two jumps. Drive charging. That's where we're off. DISO. So let's clear the orbit. So I'm just looking. I mean, that's the system. How exactly they find the planet by which to scan, I really don't know. Haven't got a clue. Um, I've looked and I, I can't. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to it unless you just go and scan every planet in the system. Um, yeah. Like I say, what systems am I in? We're headed to DSO. And it'd be DSO 5B. Yeah. Well, we got a fuel scoop. Should be needed, but it 
kind of should have been easy enough to do. I mean, finding the systems, I get it. But finding the actual... planet... Pretty much, yeah. You do. You do, Alpha. So we're going to hang here. I'm just going to check. How they worked it out. Yeah, the Worldcraft place. I typically did that because I googled where the headquarters for that was. Um... Weird stuff, isn't it? Anyway, okay, back to it. We want five people. Let's see what's different about five B. The fact that I can't find five B. There's six B. Six C. 4B. Five B. Flores Manufacturing Exchange. Let's crack on over there then. Hey, Jules. Hope you're doing fine. So, so far, we've got a free ship. We're up 20 million. We've got a festive flak launcher. Better than nothing, innit? Ah, just about to start doing this. Well, it's 30 million in credits. Not to be sniffed at. And then I think perhaps we'll do some compromise nav beacon combat. Where I don't know. All for that Christmas jumper. Yes, that's what we want. Nothing wrong with a good Christmas jumper, that's what I say. Know what I mean? Why can't you buy? Why can't they get their act together and get those in the shops? I would have Certainly we're a nice old Christmas jumper. What's the target issue now? What, what, what have they done? It's like, what have they done this time?
Come on, Brutal Enforcer, you've got to explain it to me. What have they done? There are so many problems, it's quite difficult to keep up on them all. Right, okay. DSO 5B. Ships that attack don't turn red. Jesus. Perhaps it'd be ground missions then. And ground missions all Christmas until. So we've got more regular markers there as well, alright? Alright, crash ship. There it is. At the side of the planet. Didn't show up again. Orbital flight engaged. Kind of nearly on it. That's a hell of a problem, really, isn't it? So ship combat broken. If the ships that attack you don't turn red. Ah. That is a problem, isn't it? So let's put our, we're on the dark side of this planet now, let's put our night vision on. There it is. Great. Can't see a thing without that night vision. Landing gear is deployed. Yes, folks, as you can see, I've already landed. Just not exactly where I want to land. Right, come on, let's get, let's, let's talk serious about this. Where is it? Oh, there it is, look. A bit dodgy terrain. Let's see where we can land. I can land this. We're up there. Quite mountainous, isn't it? Uh, might be able to get it there, actually. Ah, that could be perhaps the only spot. Nope, don't look like, does it? And we're down. All right then. So this is the third site we've got so far. Cargo scoop deployed. Not that there's going to be anything there for us to cargo scoop up, but you never know. 
So we've had 20 million in swag so far. Look at that. There is indeed. An SRV. And there's the comms uplink. So perhaps there is something. Oh, they've taken the panels out of the SRV. Okay, let's um, scan it. What do we get? We got a gift from the Achilles Corporation. Another 10 million credits. An Asp Explorer festive green paint job. And a green Santa jumper outfit. Now, that's what it's really all for, isn't it? It's the Santa outfit. That's the crack. See, they've taken all the... And they could have left him in, couldn't they? That panel's gone as well. So there's anything in there to pick up on on um, on foot. And it was the SRV we were scanning. Nothing else here. All quite barren. So, not so bad. Let's go and find a friendly neighborhood station where we can see what all these things are like. Right. Let's go, go, go. So that's the first part of this winking cat mystery done now. Ah, uh, that's a thing, see? They could have left him in. No particular reason why they shouldn't have. A little bit more. Cargo scoop retracted. Let's get in. War pain. Um, can you store mined cargo on a station? No. You would need a fleet carrier for that. And they're four billion credits. And for the new commander, that's quite unattainable. So we've got to sweat it out a bit, unfortunately. Landing gear retracted. Right, let's see what we got in the system. More regular markers. Yeah, let's go and have a look at those. Where are they? That way. Yes. Some games will allow you to do that. All you can store is ships and modules and stations. Which is a bit of an oversight, really, from Frontier. I'm going to put the glitter gun on your free career. <laughs> yeah, I can just transfer them all, you know, to a carrier. What have we got in system? In regular max. We're gonna go, we're gonna go and check that out. Shift drive charging. It might be something funky. Then it might not.
So, so far so good. Not so bad. Here's our regular markers, so we're going to carry on whizzing so we can go and get that. Now you'd think you'd be, they would have worked out that commanders could rent an apartment on a home station or a station they want to call their own. And that would be quite compelling. You only store a certain amount there. And when that station got attacked, you lose all your worldly possessions if you didn't have insurance. It's a way of getting all the credits out of the game as well. Yeah, let us know if it's if it's working or not, Bouncy. Okay. So also, people were saying that my sound was dropping out intermittently. And I found out that the noise gate on this Roadcaster Pro deck I've got is a bit aggressive. So I've turned it off. So how's the sound? And that is just going to be another case of barrels. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. Just barrels. Trespass zone cleared. Right, in this system, we have Bow Station. Tabitha, how's it going? We're going to go in there and we're going to change some, change the Christmas jumper to the new one we've just got. Then we'll start transferring all the stuff to the fleet carrier. Four, three, two, one, engage. So far, not a bad little jump around a couple of systems. Sometimes a change is as good as a rest. Great, thank you, Joe. Quieter than usual. How's that? Is that better? Okay, there you go. I was messing around with some of the levels. Yeah, it's about three weeks of the carrier, isn't it? 30 million. Oh, so the kids here, right, they're like a bottle of pop. They really are like a bottle of pop. So my youngest son, who's 11, is just all over the place. Uh, and is back on playing Fortnite with his friends. Of course, they've all broken up from school now. So between Fortnite, FIFA, and Minecraft, those are the only three games 
he plays. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're heading towards that station. And we're going to overshoot. It seems we're in system. We could do. I think it's in the wrong key again. We could do a cheeky little mission. Mike, you up for a cheeky little mission? Whatever we can get at this station. Let's see if we can go in there and do it without getting utterly destroyed. We're heading in nicely. No problems there. Yep, yeah, go and get a mission from the station, see what's knocking about in system. What's the w what could possibly go wrong? John, how are you doing? Haven't been in this system for ages. Landing you can walk away from is a happy landing. Right. Commodity market unavailable. What's going on here? Thousand credits, fifty thousand credits. Okay, so um, current happiness. So it hasn't got a commodity market. There you have it. In Odyssey, yes, you can indeed. So okay then. Um, let's get out and have a walk around. The insides of these stations really are nice and grandiose. Finish the cat hunt. Yeah, that's that's part one of the cat hunt really done. I was going to put my jumper on now. Put our frames per second on. Yeah, here we go. Go to concourse. We're in. Here we go. Welcome to the Bell 
Sorry, I've got no postings available. Earned in blood and paid for in full. You need anything else? I'm sure one of the factions will pick a fight. Okay. Uh, let's get a cheeky mission. All right. Okay. So we got transport mission, combat mission, massacres, massacres, takedowns, settlement massacre. Covert assassination. Yeah, look. Scavengers. I like a good scavenger mission. What do we get? I suppose production reports could be the one there. And then that one there seems we're in the system. So we got the scavenger missions, which are great. Shouldn't cause us too much, too many, too many problems. I mean, we need a lot of this stuff. Right. Okay. Um, what else have we got in the system? Nothing really we'd want to do. Uh, Salvage. Pharmaceutical patents. Genetic research. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Yep. You look like someone what have we got? Don't want to be cool unprepared. Let me browse your stock. Weapons. When are we gonna see new weapons, eh? So the same old rubbish. All right. Sure you got everything? I'll be here if you change your mind. Ah! Ha ha ha! Look at the conk on that. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, let's get this jumper on. See what this Christmas jumper's on. Right, so... That's the Christmas jumper I've currently got. Let's get over here in the light. That's nice. Comes in a pack. And is very festive. Okay. Christmas jumper. So. If I go here. And then. Hollow me. Uh. Accessories, cosmetics. It's not going to be there. It's going to be in loadout. Sorry, edit loadout. And that's my M5 suit that I like. We are going to go for a suit cosmetics. Now I should have in here. Something else to wear. So here are the ones that I've got, which are all very nice. And then... That's what I've got. I've got a green Santa suit. That's right, John. Too right. Or oh, there's that one. Which I don't really like. To be fair, it, that's proper Santa, that is, right? That's like Welcome Santa's elves. Me. That's your proper Santa. There you go. So, okay, it's something else to wear, I suppose. Um, wasn't a fan of these. <laughs> Some snowman orange. If you're going to go for a Christmas jumper, I think you've got to go for the classics. Which are these? What do we all think? I, I, I think it's all right. You know, it's nice. It's fitting. Don't look too ridiculous. But that is, that's the one. Welcome to Federal Space. 
That's the one that we've got for the mission. So we'll wear that one today. Looks totally ridiculous. The Grinch, yeah. No, um, I'm going to call you Funky Cat. So, Funky Cat, it is for Horizons players. There's no real walking about to be done. Uh, it's generally all Horizons. And, um, just turn my light on. Are you a seasoned combat pilot? You see an SRV to do it. Could you be doing and then you can go to the three places we went to. In this stream. Okay, there we go. Exit. Now see, oh, my frames per second have hit the floor after going there. Look. Hit the floor. Get out of the way, I got a jumper on, dude. Go to my hangar. Frames per second are crawling up now. We're in the 40s. In the 20s. They still haven't fixed it, have they? Oh, it's creaking 16 frames a second. It's that Christmas jumper. Do I own a carrier? Yes, I do. It's called Ricardo's Gaming. So look at that. That is terrible frames per second. So we're going to go... Quator. Where we're going. Yeah, we're back up to the 50s now. Launch. And that was all about just hitting that one particular screen. Everything was 14 now. Oh, 14 frames a second. I feel a re-instance coming on. Yeah, it was. It was the Ricardo's extravagance, and um, they didn't like it. Right. If we get carried away, I am going to restart the game, because that's ridiculous. Try to open your top panel and drop back out. It works. GPU um, RTX 3080. But that's more of a particular elite issue, that is. We've seen that before. Oh, that's a shame. I thought they could have done it in Hollow Me. I did it through the loadout for the the, the particular suit. I mean, looking at my GPU utilization, it's, it's nothing. This is all a game. This is. Look at that! Whoa! Frames per second. Did I crash? I reset it. Because my frames per second went absolutely ridiculously low. I've got my stats on that part of the screen, which you can't see. Um, my performance overlay and all the rest of it, and they're fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, okay, we're back to decent rates. 
Um, send me an invite in a minute. Okay. We are going to this place down there. I've had two crashes today so far. Um, GPU usage is fine. It's not getting above 60%. That's more the game crapping out. Oh yeah, definitely. I agree with you. It should. Uh, so we're going to go for Zoo Mineralogic Claim. And we're going to take out those pesky scavengers. There's Mike. We just invited Mike to the team. There we go. We're coming in nicely. That is true. I am doing an awful lot of messing about with Streamlabs down sampling at the 1080. If only I could stream at 4K. You need no down sampling then, would it? But that just needs... That's a huge amount of bandwidth. We've kind of shot our bolt before Christmas with Elite Dangerous now because until the 23rd, which is next week to be fair, um, we've done the treasure hunt. Haha, <laughs> Mike's been interdicted. Mike's been interdicted. Slow that down. Uh, this is where we're going. Zoom in a logic. We're going to share that mission. Here we go. Go nice and steep. If I get there first, I'll host the instance. They are, they're looking very good on PC. I mean, like we said, I mean, I'm down sampling the stream to 1080 as well. But, um,. go. There it is. Then we've got to get in here and clear out all these cheeky monkeys in our Santa Christmas jumper. Do you know what? Nobody knows what's happening with Odyssey for the consoles. Frontier aren't saying anything. And, you know, I get it. I understand why. They want to work on stability and get the game right. It's really expensive to release a game for PlayStation and for um, Xbox when you have to have so many updates right it would it would crucify him
It really would crucify him. Low gravity warning. I mean, years ago, I remember it, it being something like ten thousand dollars, pounds, whatever it was, for every game update you wanted to put on the store. That's good. That's really good, Simon. That is good. It's probably running better on that, and it's running on mine. So here we are. Let's kind of park up somewhere inconspicuous. I've not seen that before. You know, it's it's a broken drill piece. So my GPU utilization now, right? Between 60 and 80%, which is good stuff. Right, let's get on with it and not worry about frame rates. Shooters. Where's Mike? In fact, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get a power regulator for this. Ooh, doesn't that scorpion look? I want, um, let me see, assets, goods, power regulator, confirm transfer. Somewhere there are nine people. This could be another one of those. Oh, there they are, look. 